today for the Pittsburgh Public Library. Two wonderful women from our library. We've got uh, Minda and Tegan here with us. Welcome back to uh, Talking Fitchburg. And uh, how are your, you ladies doing this fall season? Great. Great. Fantastic. It's beautiful outside right now. Yeah. Isn't it? We've been really lucky so far uh, with fall and uh, being beautiful. There's going to be some cold weather coming in here soon. So I think the leaves are really going to change and really uh, set the scene for uh, hopefully a perfect fall uh, season. But we'll uh, keep our fingers crossed on that. On that front, though, you guys got some uh, fun uh, uh, fall activities, plus some uh, Halloween themed stuff. Tegan, we'll turn to you first. Uh, you, you're bringing back the movies to the library. I just yes. talked about this uh, this week at TF and I'm uh, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. So on Saturday, October 8th, we're going to have a movie in, in the library in the meeting room, and it's going to be scary stories to tell in the dark. So kind of right along with that Halloween theme. And it's at 2.30 and people can come on in and enjoy the some scary scenes. <laughs> some scary scenes. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's a fun way to meet some people, I bet, and uh, and yeah, enjoy a, a fun movie there uh, as well. Uh, you also have a, a saving energy uh, a program coming up as well. Yeah, so that's saving energy in, in your home, and that's present, presented by Project Home and MG&E. And they'll be talking about common sources of energy loss in the home, um, how air sealing and ins insulation work together. And then just some simple things that you can do around your house to, to keep it all sealed up and energy efficient for the winter. Yeah, it's about uh, perfect timing to have that uh, as we get into the cold season. So uh, definitely want to seal up all those cracks and learn how to uh, cut that energy bill down, certainly uh, with costs being so high everywhere. So two uh, great programs there uh, to uh, have some fun with. Another one that you can have fun with and uh, join Minda at is uh, the book club at the cafe. You get up, you know, Minda, you get you get out a lot. And, mm -hmm. and I mean that in a good way. You are out in the community all the time. I, this book club one, though, at the cafe has got to be pretty fun. It is. We meet the second Wednesday of the month, and we meet at Barriques in Fitchburg and uh, at 6.30 p.m. We And it's great to be out in the community to have a discussion about a book that is just somewhere out besides the library setting. Um, we uh, read a different mix of books. We read fiction. Uh, we also read nonfiction, a lot of um, narrative nonfiction, memoirs, uh, a, a really big selection of books. And it's a really nice place to have it and, and just be outside the library. If somebody who like me who uh, doesn't get to read as much as he probably should or could, uh, but wanted to get into a book club, what would you suggest for those uh, folks who are like, man, I really want to do this, but I don't know if I can keep up with the pace. Well, the nice thing is you don't have to read the whole book. So like if you're going to do book club at the cafe, you can just read part of the book if you want. That's fine. And then just come and listen, discuss what you, you know, what you would like to say, but then just learn from others. We do have three book clubs here at the li library. Um, two are inside and one is outside, but it's it's kind of a, it's a very low stakes book club in terms of, we just want you to come and, and discuss and, and just participate and enjoy it. All right. Well, you got me, uh, got me thinking I might uh, be able to pull that off. So it's good to, good to know that, uh, how that works. Uh, other outreach uh, coming up this fall and winter. So you will, you, again, you were out and about uh, all summer long and uh, you draw in a lot of people, Vinda, when you're out uh, doing these activities uh, and it is awesome. You do a heck of a job. Uh, so uh, we, we've got some plans coming up here this fall and uh, winter to see you out and about. Yeah, we're so we're going to try to take any kind of themed type of celebrations or plans that we have here in the library and take it out in the community. So the next one we have will be our Halloween kind of themed programming. And we have it's going to be uh, I think it's called a Halloween fun to go bag. So we will be um, taking that out into the community where I can meet up with people and visit them where they're at for people who may not be able to get to the library. And, and it's been a lot of fun interacting with people and just getting to know people. The van certainly lets you know that I'm there. The kids for sure know where I'm at and when I'm there. So that's going to be one of our first things that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Fantastic. Yeah, we want to uh, get involved in those activities. And yeah, Minda is, is awesome out there. I'm telling you, she brings she brings <laughs> it every time she's out there. So you definitely want to uh, 
uh, be in the vicinity wherever she's at uh, with those activities. And, and as far as Halloween goes, you're, you'll have continued Halloween activities as well as uh, we move through Halloween and and into Thanksgiving and and, and Christmas yeah. and all that fun stuff. So the next couple things we have um, coming here, up here at the library in the youth department, we have the Youth Spectacular Story Time. That's on October 1st. Ooh. Um, teens will have paint a gourd that's on October 13th and then there's the teen Halloween party on October 24th so you can look at, at our calendar uh, either online or the newsletter which is also there or pick a newsletter up in the library that'll keep you up to date on all the times and everything that we're doing but those are some of the highlighted things we're doing. Yeah it's a lot of a uh, lot of fun things coming up and if you want to stay in the know and find out what's coming up, some spectacular stuff. Where can you do that? <laughs> so you can go online to our website to, to look at the calendar there. You can look either at all the library activities or you can just look at by adults or teens and kids. Uh, the newsletter um, has that. You can just stop by and just ask anyone. Um, we're very uh, familiar with what we've got going on. So we can also give you the highlights. Tegan, do you have any other great ideas? Uh, our Facebook page as well. Yep. Check that out. We have all our events listed on there. All right. Well, now let's get to the important stuff here. You know, normally, normally it's Halloween and, you know, we uh, usually we've dressed up. I've got, in fact, some of my favorite pictures are with the uh, through the show have been the Halloween segments. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're taming it down this year. Not not because, uh, you know, whatever. But Tegan, what what will you be for Halloween? Like, what what are you going to? dawn as a, a costume this year oh you know i haven't decided yet that's kind of a, a tricky one i don't know well, we're, we're gonna you're, you're gonna have to come up with something i, I mean, know you, you've got you, you, well, we have a cold closet here i could go snag something from <laughs> fantastic minda where do you where do you turn on this do you uh yeah. What do you dress up as? <laughs> and I don't have mine yet either, um, but I am going to draw from the big closet. It will be the reveal. Definitely, I will be dressed up on October 31st here yes. in the library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a Monday. So, uh, you know, maybe we just got to come and do a little special segment, just, you know, the life uh, as dressed up characters in the library. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's oh, yeah. cool we, that, we should so. have a, a good number of people around with costumes yeah. on. So. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> and how many uh how many costumes will tim uh, wear in one day is there a record uh for that he might do one every hour we're not sure <laughs> oh, yeah that closet is pretty close to him is what i was told but that's, that's yeah. a different story <laughs> all right well thank you all so so very much uh have a good uh fall and uh halloween and hopefully people will uh, stop on by the library and check out all the great things happening